To better understand potential mechanisms of action of a novel therapeutic small molecule, you need to analyse a lot of data on similar structures or structures with a certain chemical substructure. To do this with dimensions L and C, you can use the chemistry search functionality that can be found under the chemistry finder tab in the menu bar. Chemistry search enables you to find chemical compounds in our chemical registry, which contains more than 130 million compounds. You can search the registry by chemical name, smiles, inchy key, or through structure editor, where you can draw your structure or simply upload it from your computer, as I'm going to do here. After entering the name or ID, or drawing or uploading your structure, you need to specify how exactly you want to search our database by choosing the correct option in the bottom right of the section. You can look for the exact match, or for compounds with a substructure, or even for similar compounds. After selecting one of the types of chemical search, select Search in our compound database. The system will then retrieve matching compounds, telling you how many there are, organised in a table with their structures, names, molecular weight, formulae, links to external sources and databases, and a link to search for this compound in our documents. You can also explore a compound's details whenever needed. After you explore this list of matching compounds, you need to specify which of them you would like to search for more details and get insights from our patents, clinical trials, publications, grants, and so on. If you want to search for documents for just one compound, you can do so directly from the table in the right-hand column. If you want to search documents for several compounds, you need to select your compounds of interest by checking the relevant boxes. The system will then tell you how many compounds are selected. You can ask the system to scroll to the bottom of this table and select Search in Documents. As you can see, you can combine compound search with different Boolean operators, but by default you will search for documents mentioning at least one of the specified compounds. After hitting Search, instead of the table of compounds, a list of relevant documents is now generated. In this case, there are nine patents where at least one of the specified structures was identified. You can see the snippets from texts highlighting where these structures were mentioned. By default, this document list is sorted by relevance, but you can choose to sort it differently. For example, you can sort these patents by priority date or publication date. From this documents list, you can explore some quick information on a patent, such as abstract, description, claims or methods. You can also bookmark, rank a patent or add it to your collection, or you can further explore the patent details by opening it up. Alternatively, if you want to analyse all nine of these patents on semantic concepts such as genes and proteins or diseases that are mentioned in them, you can use the export function. Semantic Concepts Export enables you to export semantic entities such as chemical compounds, diseases, companies, drugs and other information from the list of documents of interest. You can specify in this window which entities and concepts you want to derive from texts, for instance genes and proteins, chemical compounds or diseases. Simply select them from the suggested ones or add them with the Domain Explorer and hit Export. This allows you to generate an Excel file which shows you which diseases are mentioned in the text of the documents that you are analysing and how often. In a similar way, you can, for example, export genes and proteins in addition to diseases and start generating hypotheses on targets and therapeutic applications for your novel small molecule based on what you found for its similar compounds or compounds with substructures of interest.